Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss some rules to draw the stick diagrams. Rules are very important when you are going to draw the stick diagrams because where we need to put the contact, where we need to give the crossings, all these things we should definitely know. <coughs> Coming to the rule number one, there are generally four different rules. I will explain one by one individually. Rule number one. So what rule number one says is when two or more sticks of the same type, two or more sticks are nothing but same layers of same that represent when two or more sticks sticks are nothing but your layers like your polysilicon metal plus diffusion rn plus diffusion rn plus diffusion whatever it is so that is represented by a stick so when two or more sticks of same type of same type cross or touch each other touch each other that represents electrical contact that represents electrical contact okay suppose take a metal layer as I am having blue color in my hand, I am using metal line. So take metal, for example, example. So I am taking a metal line horizontally. I am taking the same metal line vertically. Now, when you are having this type of cross section, like a, a horizontal and vertical, that means uh, one layer is going with the another layer. Okay, they are having one touch at one point for this type of connection as they are from the same type there is an electrical connection between these two without having any contact okay generally we are saying a jump in the normal electrical uh, copper wire connections but in the case of stick diagrams when the two metals of when any two layer cross or touch cross or touch each other that simply represents an electrical contact without any contact without any contact like black color suppose i am taking a polysilicon another metal another uh, type of layer i am taking a polysilicon so which is in red color taking a horizontal line taking a vertical line that simply represents the electrical contact that means whatever the current that is flowing here that current will be divided here and here here and here because that he has some connection over at this point hope you understand now okay so suppose if they are from different then there is no electrical contact okay uh, so coming to the rule number two Rule number two, when two or more sticks, when two or more sticks of different type of different type cross or touch each other cross or touch each other there is no electrical contact there is no electrical contact suppose for example i am taking metal here so take a metal wire horizontally and take another layer like 
red color which is nothing but poly silicon now i am drawing vertically like this as they are from two different layers and they don't have any contact at the center that means they are two independent wires they don't have any electrical connection hope you understand rule number two when compared to the rule number one if they are of same type cross uh, cross or touch each other then there will be an electrical contact without providing any black color contact between them but if they are from two different layers cross or touch each other there is no electrical contact between them okay it may not be like this it may be in different different uh, shapes also suppose uh, one wire is going like this which is a red color and uh, take a metal line somewhere it is going like this okay somewhere in the circuits definitely this type of crossings should be done okay so when such type of crossings are there and there is no electrical contact between them then there is a, they are independent wires suppose if you want to provide electrical contact between them then you should use a contact if we want to provide electrical contact between them we should use we should use contact contact means what is the color black color so take same blue color line i'm taking the same polysilicon then these two are independent wires if you want to give contact electrical contact between them so take black color and provide a contact between them like this now they are having the connection between these two different wires without having this uh, contact cut then there are if they are two, two independent wires okay now let's go to the rule number three rule number three so what a rule number three says when poly crosses the diffusion it represents a transistor we know this one we have seen in the layers of the stick diagrams when poly crosses the diffusion poly means polysilicon polysilicon layer crosses the diffusion layer that represents represents a transistor that represents a transistor we know polysilicon if it crosses the n plus diffusion it represents a mos transistor polysilicon if it crosses the uh, what is that p plus diffusion it is simply it represents the p mos transistor so take uh, what is that green color draw vertically or horizontally and take red color if you draw like this then it becomes an nmos transistor and similarly draw a vertical line and take this yellow color it represents the pmos transistor okay uh, see here this is nmos transistor it is pmos transistor okay so now is there any contact between them is there any connection between them there is no connection that is first thing another thing is we should not give any contact we should not give any contact at this point okay if you give contact here it will never be treated as a transistor remember we should not give contact at the center we should not give contact at the center we should not we should not use contact we should not use contact at the center that means at the cross point if we use 
contact it will never consider as transistor okay this is the very very important rule now rule number 4 last rule rule number 4 so when you are drawing a cmos circuit diagrams you should know the separate realizations of cmos uh, pmos and nmos so in order to separate the pmos and nmos realizations we should use a line that is called demarcation line so draw a demarcation line draw a demarcation line to separate to separate pmos and nmos realizations in cmos circuits demarcation line sh should be drawn for only cmos circuits so that's why we should write in cmos circuits okay suppose take uh, what is the demarcation line demarcation line is in brown color so take red color draw a horizontal line for nmos transistor or a pmos transistor draw a horizontal line here so take green color and this is the nmos transistor take yellow color this is the pmos transistor now take brown color and draw a demarcation line which is in dash line okay this represents the demarcation line to separate them to separate pmos in the pull up place and pull down place consisting of nmos transistors this is demarcation line okay this is the importance of demarcation line so these are the four rules one should definitely follow when going for the designing of stick diagrams okay thank you